Hey guys, check out this video by Grant Cardone. Have you ever had experiences of having a bunch of friends that you help pay for and everything else like that? And what advice would you give to people who are kind of in this position? Number one, I don't have a bunch of friends. But number two, I never take care of people's finances. Ever. Ever. So either they pay for everything themselves or they can't go. Because what's going to happen is if I take care of them over and over again, they're going to resent me anyway. If I pay the fucking meal every time, sooner or later they're going to have to carry my bag. They're going to feel obligated to mm -hmm. pick up the bag if I'm paying the bill all the time. So I never let anybody pay for my shit, ever. I hung out with a guy who was worth four and a half billion dollars for 90 days. Every time we went to dinner, I'm like, I was the first one saying, fuck it, I'm buying. You ain't owning me. So that's the problem with it, dude. It's got to be a fair exchange back and forth, okay? Yeah. I'm not carrying dead weight. It's not my obligation to take care of the community. My obligation is to take care of me, then first me, then take care of my family. Based on what Michael Bick is saying, if the plane's going down, he's going to worry about everybody else's fucking mask before he puts his own on, he's going to die. Kirby, what are your thoughts on this video? Oh, Vlad, Vlad TV, that's the guy who hosted this interview. He get a lot of flack uh, from different communities. But I, I like sometimes how he set up the interview to make it to make it uh, interesting to watch. Uh, but Grant Cardone, he hit it out the park with this one. I believe he did hit it out the park. But and, and it should be a sign of reflection. Me, I always sit there and sometimes, you know, I'm living my life, doing my thing, you know, taking trips, going, you know, investing, investing, doing things like that. I always think about the old neighborhood where I came from, you know, staying in contact with the old neighborhood I come from. But then whenever I try to reach out to the, you know, old neighborhood I came from, you know, I left many years ago. It's a reminder of why I don't stay in touch. Uh, everybody looks at my, you know, success or the little bit that I've done as that's their way out. Not way out is, hey, take the information that I provide to get your way out. They look at it as, oh, you got it, so you should just give it to me and let me go live my life and do the, do my thing. I'm 100% with Grant, with, uh, Grant Cardone. I do not finance decisions or other people's lives. I refuse to do it. And that's everybody across the board. Um, I believe that if you know me, you know what I'm doing, you know the the success I have in different arenas, then you should be reaching out to me to better yourself financially. Not thinking that I'm just a blank checkbook or ATM machine that you can go uh, call up and cash in whenever you feel like doing another stupid decision that's going to keep you in the same situation. Uh, I got a funny story. Like, Alex, I'll tell you about a mentor that I have. And uh, I remember we went out to, to lunch with him one time in Orlando. And he, you could tell he's so used to paying the bill for people. So, you know, the order come, I didn't already met up with the server and said, don't give him the bill. Here's my card. I'm going to pay for it or whatever. And so the check come, well, it's time for the check. And he's asking, you know, where's the check? The server's like, oh, he already took care of it. And then you can see like the the look in his face, like, what are you doing? But I feel the same way as Grant. I don't want to be holding to be beholden to anybody. I don't, I don't want you, you sat here and gave me the knowledge that you have. I don't need your checkbook. I don't need none of that other stuff. You just keep giving me the knowledge you have. That's way more than enough. I can never repay you back for the just the knowledge and the little seeds you put in my life to better myself. So I'm not going to sit here and just look like a lackey, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to take all your information. Oh, plus, let me get some filet mignon and you pay for that, too, and you do everything. And then uh, when I go broke, I'm just going to call you and ask for money because, you know, you're my mentor now. So, but yeah, no, I don't want I don't want to be beholden to nobody. And so that's what I did. I mean, it's been occasions where he paid before, but on that time, it was literally me ciphering information from him. So this I'm going to do it. Don't think that I'm just here just to take, 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 take. I'm I'm not that guy. So I, when he, Grant Cardone said that, it reminded me of that situation. So it was, it was pretty cool. It's sad because I see so many people trying to take care of people that they love. And then mm -hmm. their life and their needs just go right out the window. I mean, I, I know people in my life that deal with this. And I've always had the mindset since I kind of started this financial journey, like 
I'm tired of worrying about other people. Like I had the active conscious mindset to only care about myself. And it's the only thing that's actually going to push you into becoming successful. And it's not to say that you have to just shit on other people, but you have to worry about yourself and you get money first before you can worry about taking care of other people. Because I mean, people are always going to want to take care of their mom or take care of their dad or whatever. But if you don't have money, how are you going to do that? And so if you don't have money and you try to do those things, that just holds you back and digs you a deeper hole. And you're never going to get out of that hole for as long as that person, unfortunately, is alive because you're constantly worried about their life more than you are about your life. And it's just sad because I see people like they want and they desire like financial success. They've got all these bills. And then you talk to them about their bills. And most of the bills are people that they're taking care of. And it's like really the, the only blocking stone to getting them to becoming de debt free to starting their first investment is cutting out the monthly expenses that they have that are going towards these people. But they won't do it because they care too much about these people. And Alex, so uh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, no, Alex, I like what you said. And I've said this about 20 times on this channel. Jay-Z said it best. You can't help the poor if you wanted them. The goal is to win, then give back. That's the win-win. And, and Alex, I said it, and you know, I said it in a Discord, and people think I'm just the most mean person on earth when I said, my son will not sacrifice a dime of his life for me helping out somebody else. So when Grant Carter don't say, I look out for me, then I look out for, you know, my wife and kids, that's true. So I'm not, I won't sit there. If I help somebody, it's I help them with excess of what I, what I have. It's never going to be, hey, son, we can't go out to eat or we can't go out to do the stuff that you used to do because we need to take this money and go help somebody else. Yeah. No. And then if I'm helping somebody else, it has to be a real need. Uh, I like helping people who have pride about this stuff. Uh, people that I know if they come and ask me, it's the, I must be the last person on earth and they, they did everything human possibly to get it done. You know, I'm, I'm all for helping the grandmother who had to take in, you know, they, they, uh, they kids, their kids, kids, so their grandkids because of a family tragedy. I'm all for helping them. I'm all for helping somebody who, hey, I'm $300 short on the mortgage or the rent, and I just need $300. I am not in the game of helping people that say, hey, man, I'm three months behind on my rent and I ain't got no money. But I just saw you on IG. I just saw you on Facebook balling out of control, but you three months late on rent. You don't have no, uh, your light's about to get cut off. They're about to cut off your cell phone bill. I'm not in the habit of helping those people. But I am in the habit of helping people who have pride that I know that they're going to willing to do any and everything to try to come up with the money to call me. So if they call me and say, hey, they short, then, you know, they need some money to the end of the week. You know, a catastrophic incident came up. You know, this is how much I got. And, you know, this is what I'm working towards. Then, okay. But you can't just call me and say, uh hey alex uh i need i need uh i need six thousand dollars because uh they're about to repo my car it takes three months for them to repo your car why didn't you call me the first month? <laughs> don't don't call me now you know that's that's the crazy thing and those are crazy situations that i find myself in but i will not let my family or make my family sacrifice to help other people my family does sacrifice when we get things like and i will make my family sacrifice for other things for like investing and make our future better like hey you know we see a recession coming you know we locked down the hatches and they can't do stuff so we can use that capital to invest to build a bigger brand bigger image build a bigger portfolio yeah we can sacrifice for ourselves but we're not sacrificing to go help out we're not mother Teresa. we're not doing all that and but the, and the reason is is because those people that you just help all the time help all the time they just expect you to help them they're not doing nothing better in their lives. As soon as you help them, they're going to go back to doing 
the, the same stupid stuff that's going to put them back into the position. That's why they keep calling you month in, month out, month in, month out. Instead of saying, hey, Alex, what you doing not to uh, have to call people to ask for money? They just call and saying, hey, Alex, let me just get some money. Uh, can you help me out with this? Can you help me out with that? And that's the problem. And people think that they're the only one calling us for help. We have tens and fifties of people calling us all the time asking for it. So they're not the only one. So we hear these stories all the time. So that's something that I, I hold true. My family will not sacrifice to help somebody else. Why? I find it funny because there's some people where like the more money that they make, they feel some sort of like obligation to have to help people. They feel like, oh, I'm blessed. Like I should give back. And to me, it's like the complete opposite because I feel like the more I make, and earn took more sacrifice and work and so then when people ask me for handouts all i can think of is like if i could do it then why can't you why why should mm -hmm. i feel obligated to help you when you had the same ability you have two hands a brain and legs to do the same thing i did but you didn't and so like i just that's another thing that i feel like that that's just so sad to see with like people that are actually successful, but they can't remove that that feeling or that emotion that they have where they feel some sort of way like they have to give back. Like, no, you don't have to give back. It's a conscious decision if you want to give back. But that obligation holds people back so much. And especially once they reach the top, they can't go further because now people are trying to stick their hands out and they're just giving. And they're not they're not defending themselves and so then it holds them back for from further growth with all that being said guys if you have any questions or comments uh, let us know down below don't forget to like this video share subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one